hey guys welcome back to my channel oh my gosh today's topic as you can tell from the title from the title we are talking about in-laws how to deal with crazy monsters in law i know it's been so long since i posted girly talk on this channel and i want to get back into you know into at least once in a month girly talk we are all ladies and we all here to help each other you know motivate each other and encourage each other so that's what i am here for today i'm gonna be talking on a message that a sister sent to me on facebook by the way i have facebook but i don't really use it i'll go once in a while to check my messages but this lady sent me this message about three months ago and i didn't get it until like two weeks and i feel so bad and so she is asking help on how to deal with in-laws apparently she's going through hell with her in-laws she sent me this long message on facebook and it just endless and i was reading it i was almost in its tears, and i replied her and these are my replies and um i just want to talk about it on here and give you guys my opinion i'm sitting out here because i have experience um dealing with in-laws sister-in-law brother-in-law mother-in-law all of them in one and i'm not gonna lie to you as i'm sitting out here i'm just so grateful for how far i have come i'm gonna be sharing all my tips for you guys that are going through hell with your in-laws you know and you know you really love your man you love your partner you want to be with them and it just now like the, the, they're not just giving you peace of mind and i'm gonna i'm gonna be giving you um what i did and how I conquer them and how I become a champion today because I see myself as a champion and I'm gonna be sharing my tips I have five tips that I'm gonna be sharing with you and just before I go on I'm gonna be um, briefing what she sent to me so she said in a message that she's been with her husband now for the past um, four years and their long, long distance relationship the guys in Germany isn't in, she's in Nigeria and um, when she met the in-laws when he introduced her to the in-law he came to Nigeria at the time and things were fine they love her they like that she loves them too and she will go visit the mom after the the husband went back to Germany she will go visit the mom the mother-in-law the sister-in-law she'll buy them you know gifts and just you know be friends and get to know them get to know them and all of that stuff and and things were rosy because she wasn't living with them she would go no she would come visit them from where she was and talk to them play with them all you know once in a while and um at the time goes on you know things were still fine and rosy with them so the husband came around and at the time she got pregnant and when she got pregnant and it was out of wedlock so they had to like in Nigeria when you get pregnant like that some family will request some some of some family will request that you have introduction even though there is no wedding at the time they want to have family introduction at least to get to know the family that their child is going so they had a family introduction and now that she's pregnant she cannot give birth in her parents house she has to like you know go to her husband and family has to go to the men's family to give birth so and you guys know like i said the guy is in germany and so she did she moved to the in-laws house to like deliver the baby and when she got there you know things started getting kind of like funky she decided bringing kind of like things that she doesn't i'm just briefing you guys because i wasn't there there was a time that she said that the sister-in-law during her pregnancy the sister-in-law really um f you know fight her like punching her like physical fight and tearing her clothes you know pushing her out throwing her stuff out and um she called the husband and the husband was Pretty much her husband was by her side, but you know, she, he has to like do it with sense, you know, trying to talk to the family. So um, she was just asking for help. Now that the husband um, is still in process of bringing her to Germany, and, like they have to do all the sponsorship and everything, and it can take two, three years. So she's still living with them, and she's asking me how to deal with like crazy in laws every day is like a nightmare with her you know when the husband send money they want to know how much 
the husband sent to her when the, and husband sent money to them too but they feel like oh she's getting more than them that was how the the problem started like oh she's getting more than them and um and how much does she get and here today to tell you how you can you know at least wide away time live in peace before you go join your husband for all of you guys also in in in-laws problems so i'm gonna be telling you guys one by one what i did because i'm not gonna pretend like i didn't go through hell i went through hell with my sister-in-law my mother-in-law she's a sweetheart i'm not gonna lie but um my sister-in-law really you know i have a lot of them but one of them really really got down down there with me you know and then with god with prayers because i remember i would kneel down and pray that god just just make me rise above these people like i just want to like you know overcome the problem that I was going through at the time she even tried to even get my husband to hook him up with another lady just because she wants to fight me and um you know it was just difficult at the time and these are the things that you know you can't really fight you can't really fight them you can't be like don't do it they are them you know you're you so i'm gonna be telling you guys how i overcome and how you can overcome yours too my first tips i'm gonna be looking down here because i have them written down on the book so my first tips is do not face them what I mean by that is do not go to them and talk to them and be like, oh, you, um, I don't like what you're doing to me. I do not, you know, you can do that with your friends, you know, but with these people, you cannot really get rid of them. And talk lasts longer than life. You know what I mean? When you say any statement that you make, even when you're hungry, it's going to be there forever. You know, it stays there forever. It sounds and rings out. So do not go attack them. What you should do in any situation, even if they pull you out and start fighting you, do not raise your hand, do not do anything. Just calm down. Let your spouse deal with them. If your spouse loves you, if your partner loves you, if you really want to be with you, you should know how to deal with these people. Okay? Even though he's not in the country, is wherever he is, you should know at least by dealing with them is probably go get you a like an apartment a little apartment even if a room for you to have a safe delivery for you to have a peace of mind you know it's part of dealing with them you know i know if you want to move out of the house you can because why not you can just go get you have your own money you have your own little business you can go get your own apartment but you want to respect your spouse so let him deal with them by like telling them like whatever he doesn't like that they're doing to you you know what i mean don't go and attack them don't go and fight them back they will fight you back they'll fight you spiritually physically everything they know they will fight with they will come for you okay so let him deal with his family he's the one who knows them well you know knows his mother well knows his sisters well brother well let him handle it do not do not aside from you talking to your spouse do not deal with say hi and good morning and that's it that's it and don't go and attack them and be like you did something to me you think you can ruin my life you think you can separate us do not do that because if you think they cannot separate you they can <laughs> they can it is you who cannot separate them because blood will always be blood so be very very wise let your men deal with them second tips that i'm gonna tell you right now is let your spouse set a boundary okay if they are like crossing your boundaries and they think you're crossing their boundaries let them let them set the boundaries like mom okay how about you don't go to our room and she doesn't come to your room? i'm just giving an example how about you just leave her when she go to work and she cook you know i don't know what kind of boundaries but like let them set a boundary these boundaries will make them like it will stop them when they need to be stopped you know what i mean instead of like you know them crossing your boundaries all the time just getting into your situation all the time into your privacy all the time there will be a boundaries that it's right there for them to like you know follow so let them set the boundaries and if he cannot set the boundaries if he loves you and he cannot set the boundaries then there's a problem he, he, that means you know you don't belong in that family because if he's like pretending that oh he's gonna talk to them he's gonna set the boundaries and nothing has been done and and he's saying everything like that and he's not doing anything 
darling you don't belong in that house because it's like they're all ganging up including your spouse it's like they're all ganging up on you so please understand that is at least it has that is on your side you know 80 percent on on your side and then 20 percent is, is on this on their side if he is if he is on their side most of the time then you don't have any supporter. You don't have anybody to like, you know, support you. Your spouse should be like your backbone. Your spouse should be like somebody who want to fight for you. You know, he wants to spend his rest, of, his, his rest of his life with you. So why is he on their side? You know what I mean? In-laws will always be in-laws. Even things that you don't even think of, they will talk, they will say it about you. They will form it against you. But your spouse should be the one who trusts you, who knows you well and you know never buys all their lies so make sure he's dealing with them and if he's not dealing with them he's not for you <laughs> carry your bag and go please it's when your spouse set a boundaries make sure you guys want to have a meeting together okay what i mean by that you guys have been having problems and um you know a lot of cursing fighting and now that your spouse talk to them you want to make sure you guys have like you know face to face meeting and i'm not saying you and them alone probably with the whole family and the head of the family you your spouse them sister-in-law brother-in-law and it's not everybody in that family that will be against you there will still somebody that wants to reason and understand the problem so you want to have meeting with them with all of them not you want to have you're not the one organizing the meeting your spouse is the one who is going to go call your you know head of the family olori b and you know olori b should be somebody who is sensible you know not somebody who is like senseless you know who knows you know what he's talking about you know have a lot of experience and then when you have meetings with them you want to like you know you want your spouse to like talk about the boundaries so you guys can both hear is he hears it you know what i mean your spouse will be like oh so mom i talked to abby that she should not cross your boundaries. These are the things that you don't want, mom. And I told her, these are the things that you don't like. I told her, and also, and I feel like, mom, you should not cross our boundaries too. This way we'll all have like peace of mind. You know what I mean? You want to like make sure like you both understand the boundaries that's been set. And the Oluri be the chief, the head of the family will probably, you know, who, somebody who is older in the family will probably say something to it. And that way, you have your peace of mind in a situation that your husband is not in the country your spouse is not in the country and um he's somewhere else and you have no say sis what you want to do is kills them with kindness and that goes with everybody when i say when i'm saying kindness it means kills them with it like how do i put it like um when they need help or you know it's kind of like a little bit of like kissing their ass you know it's not about like you know you can't be fighting them at this time you don't want to do anything wrong you want to note your behavior you want to know what you're doing what you're offering these people what you like oh let's say your mother-in-law has something heavy on her hand run over her take it from her oh man let me help you out oh mom you want to wash this took this clothes oh my let me help you wash it you know you don't have to wash it properly they will still say like you not clean just you know you know just do it i'm not talking about your sister you know your sister you know too you can you can kill them with kindness i'm not saying wash her clothes you know don't do that but like kindness like oh you want to take out your braids let me help you you kills them with that i'm not saying when you're doing that you're talking with them and talking and being friends so you just doing what you have to do you know so while away time okay because at this time they're ganging up on you your spouse is not there is all the way and and they can ruin your relationship before you know it so you want to kill them with kindness and the kind of kindness you want to kill them you want people to see that oh you're being kind to them you know what i mean so when they're gonna say something bad about you you have people who are gonna like fight for you like oh those people are just too much upon all everything that lady is doing for them they still manage to do this to her you know there'll be some women abiyama like real moms real women out there that will seize all your efforts so for some of you guys that that your spouse doesn't support you 100 percent and doesn't see that his family has a problem okay here's what i think do not force them do not force your spouse to talk to the family, to talk to his family, okay? If he doesn't see that his family isn't right or his family isn't doing something wrong, 
sorry if, if it doesn't say that his family isn't doing something wrong then it's a problem okay because this time now it's like you're forcing you're forcing him to do what he doesn't want to do you know what i mean so there's some men especially in nigeria that of course they know what their what their family they're in what their moms their sisters are doing they know they're doing they're doing something really wrong really terrible but they just feel like with time it will things will ease up things will solve itself that's not right if your spouse doesn't let you um if he doesn't help you solve the problem if you guys are not in the same mind together if you guys are not in this like not in the same boat together then it's a problem it's never gonna solve it's gonna get worse so make sure that you and your spouse are in the same boat okay he knows you he knows who you are he knows he knows his mother too he knows what his mother can do maybe he doesn't maybe the mother has become you know which all of a sudden but he knows who you are so make sure that you guys are in the same boat if he's not supporting you at least if it's not 100 percent it's 80 percent on your side so yeah this is very important another thing that i want to point out is you want to focus on your marriage whether it's a marriage whether it's a relationship whether it's a long time commitment it doesn't matter you want to make sure you focus on that how to build a strong marriage you don't want this problem this in-laws problem keep coming every day of your life and consuming you you want to focus on your marriage you want to build your marriage you want to have a healthy marriage you know you want to have a healthy life and how to make your marriage even stronger instead of like all this conflict so i would say focus on yourself more you know focus on what you and your partners are like creating maybe you're planning to like like in the message that you sent to me you said uh, sorry right now you want to focus on that you know like when i was sponsoring my family down here sponsorship was from nigeria to here and i joined the group of like you know sponsorship family sponsorship on online there's um there's a forum that you can follow you know you want to try to make your life better how fast can that be you know to get out from that so you want to like be strong for yourself be strong for your man you don't want all these people to just come and take over your energy you know they are not your god okay they are not your god and another thing that i want to mention is be prayerful i'm sitting down here talking to you guys i am not gonna lie i still remember the days that i pray for what i have right now and i mean what i mean by that is seeing my husband by my side every time you know i'll go to nigeria and visit him and it, it won't be enough i still want him to want, i want to be living with him you know living eating together as a family and it just seems like it's never gonna happen because sometimes i would just go on facebook and i would see that you know my sister-in-law trying to hook him up with another girl and i'll be like i trust my husband so much i trust him you know there was a time that you know she was trying to hook my husband up with another girl that came from england and it's another story for another day and i was like seriously this can actually happen so yeah you want to be very very prayerful i remember like one time in 2014 i was leaning down right at the edge of my bed and i was praying so hard i go just lift me up above these people these people are just you know they're just not my friend and it's so clear they make it so clear that they're not my friends they're my enemies and i also know that so i started praying i just want you god to take over take over me make me higher than them I remember my sister-in-law she never she went through my husband phone one time reading our conversation yeah reading our conversation and using it against me and you know what i mean and it was just like one of the most difficult things to ever deal with and i'm like why would you do that why would you go through my husband phone reading our conversation just because he wants to fight me like i said she even set another lady to come in my husband's house you know just because i wasn't there you know to come and start trying to like you know working things out between them and just so very nasty but i don't want to go into that today but i'm just telling you that 
we all been through it i've been through it i came out of it and i'm telling you it was the most difficult situation i cried even when i remember when i was pregnant i was going through hell and hell and one of the hell that i was going through when i was pregnant with malika was also something that i'm telling you right now i hope you can follow all of this advice because it will help you so much in your marriage honestly i feel like we all go through it and i want to hear it in the comment what you've been through with your in-laws tell me is a sister-in-law because mine was sister-in-law you know they tried to like you know i didn't do much with my mother-in-law because she was just a naturally calm person you know what i mean and the fact that she was just very she just very calm person you know her children which is a daughter were like you know do what a mother should be doing and fighting for her and doing you know what i mean but god sees me through it where are they today where is she today probably facing her own camera in her husband's house you know so i just want you to calm down be prayerful because that's your weapon your weapon is you being prayer good if you think prayer doesn't answers yes prayer do answers god answers god listens god see your struggles and will pull you out so i want to hear all of your comments all of you guys what you guys go through whether your mother-in-law your sister-in-law your brother-in-law even your friend your husband's friend sometimes or your partner friend sometimes can be evil and just want to destroy you for no reason so leave your comment and leave your advice in the comment section and yeah i want to end this today i hope you guys enjoyed today's if you do make sure you subscribe thumbs up follow me on instagram right here on the screen and i would love you to, i would love to have you on my instagram as well leave a comment let me know what you guys think about this one and yeah i will catch you guys in my next one bye guys It's fake kills. Bang. Original. Popping on me high grade, sipping on me liquor. Girls, them I come, them I want, them I take up. Bad man, me I come in, me I wanna take up. Girls, them I come, them I want in on the liquor.